Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to the uh, C Mexican show. My name is Christian, and I'm going to review. Um, it's getting hard because I think this is the reason I don't like this one. The Legion of Superheroes. I first off, I'll straight up say this: I really want to like this, but there are certain flaws that I could not forgive. It's one of those no, no. It's but you know, I'm gonna explain it soon. But I'm gonna tell you what uh, the uh, the synopsis to this story. So, excuse me for a bit. And, okay, the Legion of Superheroes, uh, Kara, devastated from the loss of Krypton, struggles to adjust to her new life on Earth. Superman mentors her, but uh, there's a little bit of your ten uh, uh, difficulty of adjusting herself into Earth, uh, uh, Earth culture and Earth uh, activities, so there's a little bit of a uh, struggle for her to to normalize what on what on her powers. So uh, Superman uh, it, uh, finds a solution to bring her to the was a twenty third. No, I think it's let's just say it's the far fruit uh, future of Earth uh, of the. Of Earth, so from and this is where a lot of uh, Legion of Superheroes started. And I know Legion of Superheroes back in the day when I was young, when I was watching as a teen. It wasn't that good, but it was you know fairly unique. It's another uh, WB show. So for me, go I can familiarize this. Uh, I can familiarize some of the some of the characters. So for me, go. Uh, I'm going to tell you who's the, the casting, uh, the voice act actors and actresses. Meg Donnelly, uh, she's actually quite good in the, uh, she's quite good as Supergirl. I like the voice, tone, fantastic. Well, Harry Shum Jr. as Brainiac 5, fantastic. Jensen Ackles as Batman, I, I'm, I like it. I really do like it. Uh, Gideon if I'm saying it correctly, as Phantom Girl. Good as well. Matt Bomer. Fantastic as Flash. Uh, Darren DePaul. Fantastic as Brainiac. Uh, and also, uh, also, you will be surprised. Uh, you get Lowenthal, a voice mod L. And another fantastic uh, casting is Je Jennifer Hale as Allura. Uh, Kara's mom, and it, and it's a, and it's a very fantastic uh, casting from them, and in which I want to like this, but the script ain't cut it for me, and some of them are just you know a little bit sprint. It, there's a lot of sprinting of the story. I understand if you want to compress the story around one hour and thirty, I get it, but it was not good to you know to sprint some areas as well. I'm gonna tell you why. Go. Uh, the good parts. There are there are really really good parts of this, and the introduction of the legionnaires is is one of them. Is actually I still remember some of the stuff, uh, like Cosmic Boy, Lightning Lad, Phantom Girl, and also the rest. I forgot. One of which is hilarious is that they actually had Armas Fall Off Boy, but redesigned, and to me that's interesting. They get to add a, you know, the most wackiest character in DC. Even I wouldn't even know this. I have to research the whole arms falling off boy, but eh, it, it's it's a charming character. I'm not going to you know, mark you know, a down for that one. So for me, it's okay. I think the... Says, and the art style is still okay. Retaining that art style from Man of... Uh, uh, Superman, Man of Tomorrow, and also uh, uh, Batman, Long Halloween. It's still the same art style. So for me, you go, yeah, I like. It. However, the the weird for me, the weirdest thing about the art style is that it kind of super blends in with uh, Met Metropolis because, like, again, the most biggest critique about the the city design of Metropolis that it. It looks way too futuristic for its own good, rather than sticking to you know grounded and contemporary buildings and you know 
I always refer to it as that gold and silver blue art deco style. And to me, we go, ah, you know, okay, I'll tolerate this one, but it, it's so weird. You're trying to modernize, super modernize it, but try to uh, try to uh, put it in, and it doesn't jive very well. So for me, it it, it doesn't work. So uh, one thing for sure, the set design of uh, future Earth, where the Legion uh, resides, is actually quite for me to go. It looks the same, so there's no <laughs> it, it, that kind of works against it. So for me to go, uh, it doesn't feel doesn't feel right. Uh, also, the writing at the beginning, go there the. the the, the about the destruction of Krypton is there's, there's a lot of affirmation and go oh you're the bestest but at, at times it works but when you go overboard like a okay that's a mark one maybe it will never happen again but it happened in near the uh the peak of the story as well go oh that's a it wasn't that good and go uh and also there's uh, other aspects of the scene of of the film is that uh there are certain uh talking uh, talking scenes that they were not rendered that they, i cannot vis visibly see the character go why did you do that you could have you know showcased the animation cells all the moving parts but they slap in on a, a black filter and not showcasing the mouth movements or any like highlights and shadows to it uh, not shadows but highlights where the mouth moves it 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 was so jarring go, huh, that was a mistake. And also, uh, to, me, and to me, there's another aspect that I didn't like, is that even though they sprinted the story, uh, they did not explain how did Superman got the ball that chucks into the other, you know, future Earth, and go, wait a minute. There's there's a missing uh, uh, dialogue for that as well. How did he got that? And to me, you go, we have to rely on you know fan knowledge to know. Oh yeah, you, Superman got this this ball during the time you know the Legion of Superheroes started. So we go, that's a critical error on that as well. And you just at least give a little bit of exposition on on how he got it. At least that would be nice. Say you go, oh, where do you got that uh, ball? Uh, so X, Y, and Z, but it didn't explain it. And that to me is another thing. However, uh, at the at the reveal of the of this uh, villain in this this uh, in this uh, animated movie is that I I can't fathom why they made. Brainiac. I saw Brainiac, uh, the Brainiac uh, villain, in Justice League, in Justice League World War Two. That'll be another video for that, for that matter. But one thing for sure, I never, I, I never understood why did you know Brainiac became a quote unquote cult leader. It's the, it, it's the mischaracterization of Brainiac because Brainiac is not a, a maker of a create like a creator of cults it's to me the brainet is a super intelligent being who is a hoarder who loves to hoard creatures planets and make his own databases that's the brainiac i knew this brainiac has just created a cult leader way back into the few way back into the past of earth and then over time in the revealing of the story that he made other brainiacs to follow it and also created the cult of null or the cult of zero and i never saw that ago uh what <laughs> so for me go it's a it, it's not a good one because it it kind of destroys the characterization of of the villain and you try to lift try to lift brainiac five to not one of them it, it's so it, it's it, it's a bad strategy a uh, writing strategy to make that and to me that was the biggest letdown of this i didn't like it and also some of the scenes and some of the writings around, around the 
almost at the third of the movie again. It felt like I'm uh, listening and it was basically listening to a fan fiction level of writing. I, I cannot, I cannot you go know, hold my tongue out. It, it is, it's bad. It's, it's at that certain point after near the ending where a lot of, uh, and the shipping of uh, Brainiac 5 to Sprinkle, but okay, there's a, there's some bickering there, just some tough love there. It's, it's okay, but if there's a little bit of point of go, it wasn't convincing. It's so it's also a bit cringing as well. Like, eh, this ain't it. So for me, um, I gotta say the I I have to uh, Legion of Supers. This is a pass. Basically, I can't give this a low man. It's not even enjoyable to watch. And I'm sorry. I wish fans of this, but. I'm not. Uh, I, I, I did not enjoy it. I, I'll label this as, you know, forgettable. Forget it. Just, this is a skip. And um, unfortunately, uh, don't worry. I do plan to make a review video of Justice League, uh, uh, Justice Society, World War II soon, because I think it was a, the most interesting of the of this lineup and also this type of universe uh dc universe as well so hopefully i'll catch you real soon and uh see you later